Alright YouTube, what I want to do in this video is to show you or explain to you how you can record Xbox 360, your Sony PS3 or maybe your TV Sky HD for those of you who are familiar with the system in the UK onto your Mac uh, or maybe you want to do commentary on your gaming i.e. you want to play Modern Warfare 2 and do some commentary and upload it to YouTube uh, as many people are doing now uh, indeed so what I want to do is show you the thing that I got, how I set it up and what the quality is like and what so how the software works. Um, so getting started off, I want to go over the devices, the options you have to do this. There's three or four main ones. Um, and I'm, the one I got was the, H, the HPEG HD PVR. This is the one I got. The reason why I got this is because it's better uh, than every other device uh, on the market. Uh, the quality uh, is the best you're going to get, 1080i is the quality um, it's going to be and most of the people, 95% of the people who upload to YouTube uh, their gameplay to YouTube from their Xbox their game, or their PS3 is using this device so uh, I think I made the right choice. There's another company called Blackmagic, uh, I've heard good things about them, I, I believe it works uh, similar to this in terms of audio and video quality ish, uh, it's the same uh, f frame rates and whatever you have, but it wasn't available in the UK. I couldn't find anyone uh, who was doing that in the UK. There's another Mac specific company who make capture cards. It's called Elgato. Uh, they make capture cards, but the problem with that is uh, the quality on that on their capture card is horrendous. Um, well, it's not too bad. It's it's not HD is what I'm trying to say so basically when you're playing a game if it's a night setting you have in your theme uh, the dark images are going to come out really really bad and the last thing you want to be doing is uploading that to YouTube and then getting hate comments because you've gone for a, a lower capture card it's half the price of the HD PVR the Elgato capture card is £80 uh, whereas this one is 170 160 depending where you get it from which brings me on to my next question getting this in the UK was a mission in itself I could not find a single retailer that was selling this I luckily uh, got it from Play um, they had a 45 day waiting time um, but uh, even that I was very lucky to get it this quick uh, I got it within the 45 working day frame that they stated now the reason why I say I was lucky is because every other retailer in the UK has been sold out of this unit. I'll put a link in the description. Um, basically, if you're in the market for one, click on that link. It will show you every single retailer in a chart and tell you how many stock they have, at what price. So you don't need to go into every single individual retailer and try to find out if they have it in stock or not. This one link will show you all the retailers, uh, i.e. Dabs, um, Play, BT, all the IT companies in the UK. And if they have stock, it will say in the chart and you can go ahead and purchase it. But good luck uh, if you do manage to get this in the UK. Now, obviously, I'm going to be using this on my MacBook Pro. Uh, you can use it with every uh, Apple computer, I believe. I've seen people using it with their white MacBooks. Uh, that is a 2006-2007 model. Um, so you don't really need a high-end computer or a high-end Apple system to run this. It'll work uh, on even, you know, three or four year old machines um, not an issue now if you are going to be using this on your Mac you do need uh, software for it and it's going to cost unfortunately it's going to cost you £70 and um, it's called the ITV and it's made by Elgato uh, which has said wasn't that good of a company or their capture card wasn't as good but their software works with the HD PVR and it's absolutely fantastic it works a dream the features on it, the UI, everything that you can customise it so much um, they've done a really nice job on it and I'll put the link for that software in the description and I'll give you a demo of that software in this video no doubt uh, so let's get started so here is the software that you use in conjunction with the HD PVR uh, on the Mac it's called ITV3 and it's very very Mac friendly as you can probably see you've got a toast option here if you want to record it if you want to record uh, your your footage um, onto CD you've got an option for iPod, Apple TV 
Now, this company, it's worth noting, is they make uh, products only for the Mac, so they know what they're doing uh, when it comes to software as well, which is a good thing. And here are some of the options that you have in the software. Just going to give you a quick pan, so you can customise it a lot. Guide, controls, display, full screen, so on. Sharing your iPhone, again, telling you how good uh, the software actually is when it comes to Mac. But you probably don't want to see this, you want to see what the video quality is like. And I have a uh, footage here, I was playing Wow. I should maybe pause this. Okay. Um, and yeah, this was footage or uh, a game I was playing earlier on today, Modern Warfare 2, playing on Xbox Live. And uh, I'm just going to show you what the video quality is like. I should maybe put the volume down a bit. There we go. So here I'm going. I hate it when it happens when you try and chip someone. It misses and you have to wait a few seconds for it to go back. And um, one of my favourite games, as most of you on Twitter know, absolutely. I merely got my Xbox console because of this game. Um, one of the best games I've played uh, in years. I mean, the last game console I had was a Sega Mega Game Gear, uh, and I've still got it. Uh, and since then, I haven't really had any consoles, or I've just never really been into games until I seen this game. I played it at a cousin's house. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out and get a Xbox. So I'm going here again and I've got my knife. I love Marathon Pro because you can just run around the whole map uh, and chub people. There we go, I'm going to get him. Bam. Bam. And I get shot. But the good thing is I've now got a Pavlo. And I think I sit down here and open or do a Predator Missile. And I think I miss at this stage. But um, I think that's besides the point for this video. <laughs> so uh, if I want to export this video, it is rather simple. Go to File, Export, and you can choose the format that you want to um, output the video in. So I usually do um, for iMovie 09, because that then allows me to edit the video in iMovie if I want to cut some scenes out or if I want to fast forward something but you've got a wide range of videos here, uh, options here sorry and uh, again you know I couldn't you know yeah the software is 70 pounds it's a bit expensive but you're getting your money's worth is what I'm trying to say uh, and yeah I'll move on and show you now as to how I've connected my HDP VR to my TV Okay, so here's my HDP VR connected up uh, with my TV set up and the one gripe that I have, just noticed it there this infrared receiver, which is for your remote control uh, keeps falling off, uh, it's a very poor concept I don't know why they couldn't build the IR receiver inside the actual unit i.e. have something here built in because this unit is very very light, surprisingly, I think my HD drive is much more heavier uh, than this HDP VR. It is very, very light. But um, on the other hand, it's got a lot of wires, um, which I'm going to show you uh, on the back of it. So my Xbox 360 is right next to it, as you can see. And you probably don't want to see this because it is indeed a mess at the back. Long story short, this is the SCART cable from the Xbox 360 and it's running into my HDP VR which is here and then I've got cables running from here to my TV <laughs> which is up here um, all the cables are colour coded so it's not rocket science as to how you should um, put them in blue goes into blue, red goes into red, green goes into green uh, it's, um, your kid could literally set this up but if you want a bit more help I'll link a video to this in an annotation over here which will show you um, if you're stuck here I have my capturing area all set up and I've got my MacBook Pro on the Pendle stand uh, which was kindly sent to me by Pendle Engineering it uh, does the work uh, fantastically well and um, 
just going to show you how the HDPVR works with the Mac. So I'm going to put this USB cable in, and note as soon as I put this in, it will load up the ITV software itself. Uh, it's very, very uh, friendly, as I've probably said about a thousand times in this video. So there we go. I've put it in, and it's loaded up ITV3, and it's going to bring you up the screen, which is the Modern Warfare screen. Or it should. There we go. So now we have um, that my main area where I'm going to play, and here I've got the ability to record. So when I'm ready to record, I will just press that record button there, and it will start recording. And it's also important to know when you're playing, this does lag uh, in terms. You will see the picture here first and there will be a 4 or 5 second delay on this, but that doesn't matter. If you're recording it's going to be absolutely fine once it's been exported. So don't worry if you see yourself getting killed here and then a few seconds later you'll die. Um, so that is not an issue. But here we are. Just going to give you a backup view. And you can probably make out the lag yourself from this demo video. Everything's happening here first, and then a few seconds later it's happening here, but that is not something to worry about. It is all good. And um, that's the HD PVR all lighted up. It's very nice at night, uh, just neon lights or blue lights shining. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this HD PVR um, video session. If you've got a capturing device or if you've got this, um, do let me know your tips. What kind of capture card are you using? What do you use it for? Um, the only reason, or the only things that I can think of, is capturing you know stuff off TV or your Xbox, as I'm going to do. Uh, and if you're on Xbox, my gamer tag is Eyeglass Region. Do join me there, and we can have a bit of fun um, playing Modern Warfare 2. Uh, and yeah, if you use any other capture card other than HayPig, do let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, more importantly about this unit, if you're thinking of getting this and uh, I haven't clarified anything or uh, in most cases you can understand what I'm saying <laughs> then do leave a comment and I shall respond or someone from the community will respond um, but yeah, thanks for watching, cheers